Hi guys, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm gonna do a Persian dish called Tachin Pulo. Basically it's a chicken, yogurt, uh, barberries, uh, saffron and rice. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Thank you. Okay, I'm uh, showing you the ingredients. Uh, chicken filet, saffron, uh, spices, which is turmeric, salt, uh, sweet paprika, Barberries, pistachio, eggs, tomato, um, crushed tomato, yogurt, olive oil, onion, mushroom, ginger, and garlic. Okay, we're gonna start uh, by first adding some olive oils. Obviously, you need to turn on the um, cooker. Okay, as you may notice that uh, we had some uh, technical difficulty because my photographer left me uh, to go and have a uh, breakfast again and uh, when she came back, she, we noticed that, that the camera stopped recording. So I already add uh, all the spices, garlic, uh, add to the um, onion, then uh, salt, paprika, uh, and turmeric ice now. now I add my uh, ginger you can add my mushroom as well as you may didn't hear me it, uh, I said that instead of uh, chicken for those who are vegetarian, they can add tofu or uh, something else or without even chicken. And you can make this dish without uh, chicken. And you give a good stir. It's frying, you can wash your uh, barberries because sometimes when they collect the barberries, some dust, some sand as well can go in. I would prefer to check it properly that there is no uh, stones or um, anything is inside. Chicken for a uh, few minutes. As I said, meantime you can uh, wash your uh, barberry. You leave it in the water for uh, five minutes. Uh, that's any dust, anything normally is washes. Okay, this is barberries that I put it in the water for five, ten minutes uh, because it's uh, quite often when they uh, uh, pack the barberries, normally lots of dust can go in. It's better to be sure and then wash it to be um, out of any dust or any stones. By the way, I put uh, my rice already in uh, hot water and add some uh, salt in it. That's uh, uh, for probably you can do it even over the night and the rice become much nicer. Or a couple of hours before you start cooking, you can do it. Uh, then I put my rice. To boil mushroom and the rest of the ingredients is ready I can add uh, my chicken into it now I'm going to prepare my uh, sauce by adding yogurt. This dish obviously is for uh, around uh, five, six people. And I use uh, half kilo of uh, yogurt. Uh, the yogurt uh, needs to be uh, quite thick yogurt, and not soft. Mm. 
we'll add a bit of saffron. You crush it. Give a very nice color and uh, also very nice taste. We're cracking my egg. I use the yolk. And you give a good uh, mix. You can add saffron in the hot water a bit as well. I think it's uh, become quicker. But uh, this one is going to go to the uh, chicken, and uh, obviously, it's going to the color is going to go to the um, chicken. Okay. I put the lid on for another five to ten minutes probably and then uh, the chicken is ready to add the sauce into it okay okay mixing uh, the chicken again i think it should be ready around uh, 10 to 15 minutes and it's become quite um, make sure it's, the chicken is quite tender before add the yogurt because sometimes when you add the yogurt to it it um, doesn't allow the chicken become tender, become quite hard. It's quite important that the chicken is ready before you add your uh, ingredients. And also, this is uh, the saffron normally I use. This is uh, called Anjuman saffron. This is the uh, Iranian uh, saffron, to make sure, because there's lots of saffron um, in the shops. The best, uh, in my opinion, is the Iranian one and uh, not the fake one. Because the fake one doesn't give any taste, it's just some, probably some color. Okay, I add a little bit of uh, my saffron to my chicken. Okay, the rice is uh, ready now, as you see, it doesn't, doesn't break, it's uh, very soft. Then we take the rice to the sink and put uh, it in the wash the rice basically and also put the barberries in the water then uh, you can see the some um, bit of dust and so in this in the water okay now I'm gonna add the water I have to say this is not uh, also in the original Iranian uh, recipe and I'm sure if some moms will see this uh, dish they're gonna swear at me that this is not original tachin why do you add uh, tomato in it but in my experience the tomato will give it good very good uh, taste and texture so basically I don't care what the mom said I'm going to add my sauce now. Give, it, give it a good mix. It needs around two minutes, no more, because the, obviously the yogurt, you're going to start burning the yogurt and uh, become a smoke taste, which I don't want to do that. And as you say, it's quite runny sauce because it will mix with your rice and make uh, rice quite soft and it's make it more delicious. Don't make it uh, thick because then obviously it, um, the, your rice become quite dry. And when I boil the rice as well, I tend to make it more softer than normal rice when I do uh, for other dishes. Fry a little bit, a couple of minutes or so, and then I'm gonna check my rice. Rice is not ready, it needs to be boiled. As you see, quite quite hard. If you touch the rice, it breaks. It needs to be quite soft. Okay, I'll bring the rice over here. As you see, I prepared 
the fish, put the rice inside here. I add some butter, uh, then I'm gonna add mix the rice with the sauce. Obviously you can put a layer of rice and the uh, chicken sauce in the middle and then rice on the top. Uh, prefer this way. Add separately if you don't like barberries because barberries normally gives a little bit of a soury taste. Do a little bit of barberries, not all of it. I keep separately. If somebody wants more soury, uh, then they can add to their uh, rice. Rice is ready. Now I'm gonna add uh, my pistachio. Okay, now it's ready to sort of like the foil. It's ready to go to oven. Normally I put it on 200 for around 30 minutes and the dish is ready. You can eat it with salad, you can eat it with uh, vegetables or uh, boiled vegetables or you can eat on its own without anything else. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.